So, I want to make a sort of different gameplay video here. There's not going to be a lot of edits here and stuff like that, um, because I feel like this is the type of game where you can't really do that. It's a single-player survival game, Arid. Uh, it's made by a couple of uh, students, actually. And uh, seemingly, uh, I've heard it's pretty good. Um, there's something mysterious going on. So it's a survival game that takes place in a very hot and humid place. And you basically have to survive in that. And there seems to be some sort of story. And this takes place in the 30s, I believe. Um, so this is this sounds really cool. Um, yeah, this isn't really the type of gameplay where I can do like quick cuts and hilarious edits. So I'm just going to do a sort of chillax gameplay. We'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, new game. Oh, we have difficulty and stuff like that. Explorer suggested. Hunger, thirst, energy, sun exposure, cooling speed, daylight. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not going to do hardcore. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Yes, please. There we go. Bubba, this is Tiger. Do you read me? Take off the time to bump gum, Tiger. Over. I'm seeing storm clouds up ahead. Nothing like the weather report said. I'm thinking we can go west, hug the shore, dodge the Atacama. Over. So there's some goo. We fly around it. Company said we go east. I believe Atacama is an actual place. Over. I'm telling you, Bubba, there's some real bad juju going on here. I... Here go, Brighter Universe of Life Science. What is that? Damn, dust cloud came out of nowhere. This ain't no good. Tiger, you gotta pull up and out. Dust is coming up the end. We going down. I'm stalling. I... Uh... This is no good. Loud in my ears. Now I'm stuck. In this place. <sighs> Don't black out. Don't black out. Hey, classical music in this bitch. Let's go. Bitch, I'm gonna get a big ass combat ID strike. As far as crash landing, that's a big boy. That was textbook. Yeah. But where the hell am I? In the desert. Uh, crash in the Atacama. Atacama Desert, yeah. The character has three main parameters to balance through the use of food, water, and other items. Well-being represents your health and mental condition. If it reaches zero and the character... The character will die, yeah. If the character is well-fed, the well-being will increase over time. So that's health and mental. If either your uh, nourishment or your hydration reaches zero, well-being will decrease over time. Hint, be aware when you eat and drink. Of what you eat and drink, there's a chance it could poison you. I have to be really fucking careful, seemingly. Um, yeah, that's a pretty bad crash. Is that just a big plane, or am I just really small? I don't uh, know. God. Just I sick. got busted up real good. The crates should have some first aid supplies. Yeah, it does. We have a rough bandage. And that was from the sack, yeah. So now I have, I have a canteen, old dependable can of dog soup, refreshing, so dog soup, apparently. Oil. Good fuel keeps my torches going. And rough bandage. My shit's really low, so... I guess I'll use it. Yeah, that looks good. Objectives updated. Investigate the footprints. So I guess that goes up here. Is there anything else I can check here? This is open survival, so I, I really want to check, check for this shit. And I have to be really careful of sun exposure as well, I believe. I haven't read too much about this, so... Are those... You never know. Footprints? Those are some big-ass feet. <laughs> Bro, it's fucking Bigfoot up, up in this bitch. Okay. Those lead up here into, well, a cave, seemingly. Looks like I need to make my own way out. Should get my tools. 
probably ended up on the other side of the plane. Other side of the plane? Oh, wow. Canned green beans, peeled tom, tomatoes, okay, yeah. And canned sardines. And not the most delicious thing, but you make, you make, you make use of what you have. There's an oil lantern. Did I just, oh yeah, I just collected oil. Festuka! I can actually grab some herbs. Plant fiber, actually. That might be good, actually. Can I fix this? Somehow. I got fruit. Now, question is, can I eat, uh, Arampo fruit? That's the, that's my only question now. Um, explore the cave. You can find oil in broken lanterns and barrels. The torch consumes oil. You can press T to use it. Yeah. Doesn't surprise me. dark in here. I'll need a torch. Yep. Use the torch to light up the environments at night and in the caves. The torch will consume oil over time. The interface will show you the amount of oil left. If your torch runs out, you can use oil in your inventory to refill it. You can collect more oil from oil barrels and broken lanterns. That I figured. There we go. Whoever's in there, I come in peace. <laughs> like there is somebody. Well, there could be fucking animales. <sighs> water. Clean water. Thank God for small favors. Pop I'm lid. gonna need to ration that. I don't know what to do here. Oh, okay. Well, play. And uh, I got a canteen for the water. Water. Ah! Huh? That looks ominous. That's a dead man. That's a mummified body. That's no good. Bones. Definitely better than sick. You know what? As someone who has played Rust, you can do a lot with you can do a lot with bones. An hour and already taken from the dead. Sorry, fellas. Parched. Yeah. I figured I should probably drink. There we go. Nah, I'm good. Okay. Scavenge the craft site and look for a way out. Oh, can I- Can I go here now? Something else like just in the air. It's just in the air. This was made by students. This looks really good so far. Alright. Now I gotta just find what's left for my cargo. There we have something. Plot. And, uh, Splint Bandish. Check out for a broken mic. Okay. Well, let me just turn down the music a little bit. 45%. Should be good. Uh, can I get inside, possibly, or no? I can get on top of the wing. This leads up here. I do have stamina, it's a little bar under my health. Rock! And I do have a max amount of weight as well. Uh, I'll grab that. Nothing else? No. Right, so, we crashed here. Now I just gotta survive. Seemingly there should be, like, towns and shit. From what I believe. I grab some oil. I saw from some screenshots and stuff like that. Uh, okay. Alright. Uh, we have unrefined wood. Make planks, and then an actual wooden plank. Uh, don't know how much I should really be taking, because I'm filling out my slots quick, and also fucking, um, my weight. Uh, clay I can take. Clay could be useful. Uh, pickaxe. Finally a fucking tool. Great for getting rocks out of the way. Yep, seemingly so. And a shovel. Bro, we playing Minecraft. I uh, can't get up there. Seemingly. Canned coffee and alcohol. Maybe alcohol is not the best. Well, I mean... I mean, you could use alcohol for other shit as well. I'm not gonna use alcohol for drinking, unless it is absolutely necessary. Uh, I should be fine with it. I have water like crazy. Lantern. That's the way out. Find a tool to break open a cave entrance. Well, oh boy. I found something. 
found something I could possibly use. Uh, I believe there's nothing else over there, probably. Muscle isn't cutting it. Gonna need a pickaxe. Yeah, well, uh... Here you go. Bang. Also got some rock. Woo! Nice! Very nice. Right. Find where the cave leads. Hold on. <coughs> Sneeze. Allergies suck, man. If you run out of oil, check your inventory. Well, this leads to a wall. And we have a sick. More bandish. Okay. This is really tight. I thought I saw something just at the corner of my eye. I don't like this. Uh, dead boy. The dead, dead boy. Malnourished boy. What has happened to here? Good question. Um, man's got bones. And we have a book. Foreman's note, four out of five. You pulled me from the jaws of death, but I never found it. You pulled me from the jaws of death, but I never found out your name. You deserve better. I'm sorry. And that's it. I don't even know what's going on there, but... Doesn't sound good. Freedom! Ah. Uh, here we go. Sun and temperature. Warning. The arid climate, the sun intensity, and the high temperature of the uh, Atacama Desert are the main threats for your survival. You can track sun exposure and temperature on your UI. Sun exposure will increase while exposed to the sun and decrease in the shade. It can cause a sunburn, which reduces your well-being over time until healed with aloe vera cream. You can also use clay to increase the resistance to sun exposure. High temperature can cause heat cramps and heat exhaustion, reducing your hydration and stamina. By drinking and being in the shade, you can reduce the risk of overheating. Well, I'm really? staying in the shadows. Maybe there's something here I could use. I'm about to burn up! Ah, so it says there if I'm shaded or not. And there's like a max amount of exposure I can have to the sun. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm thirsty, so I'm gonna just fill that real quick. Look at you. That's a dead the desert boy. didn't cut you any slack either. Nah. Poor thing. Well, we have we have food. Possible food. Get some fiber. Um. It's kind of hot. I can repair. I don't know what that would repair. At the ruins of the buildings. There's m seemingly multiple buildings here, so I don't know what you want. Small stool. I can't really use anything here. Um, and the different usages seem to drain different stats, so... That's something I have to... Be wary of. Like that decreases... Um, the eye. That. Uh... Yeah, okay. Status. Yeah, and the eye is my energy. Right, got it. This is the building. Okay, it's a bunny boy. Looks like someone was staying here recently. I hope they don't mind me squatting. There's a pit. Hello. Oh, aren't you adorable? <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. That's really cute. Uh. Plank! Uh, can I take it? Yeah, I can. Another plank. Refugees. Or refuges, yeah. Refuges are hidden throughout the entire map. They offer shelter from the harsh weather and provide bed, campfire, crafting bench, and a trap. Uh, bed sleeping allows you to recover energy in exchange for a portion of the character's stats. Uh, once fuel is added to the campfire, it is used for cooking ingredients. Uh, found in Atacama Desert. Crafting bench gives you access to creating medicines and tools and can also be used to butcher animals. Trap has a chance to capture animals, great source of food, and leather. Any container can be used as a storage space. Be aware that some refuge structures may require to be repaired. Right. Table, fireplace. Is that a workbench? That's a workbench. Looks like there. they had the whole nine yards. Whole nine yards. 
they certainly had what they needed to survive. Oh, salt. A salty boy. Just closely crossing. Oh, or d no, does it increase with the amount of shit that I take? Well, I should be thinking about what I collect now a little bit more. Um, I, I can't use these as storage, so... I guess I'll oh, it's actually starting to pick up my time. Okay. Um, well, you know what? I'll put, uh... I'll put fibers in here for now. I don't weigh a lot, but... Anyways, also do bone. I know clay is good, but I can transfer, like, plus two, three, just to get some weight off my shoulders. Um, I'll put away some, uh... Some wood for now. I should probably be thinking about the coal now as well, since you know, I, 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 I mean, I, I'll probably be able to freeze. So this is now it's hard to see. Uh, campfires here, yeah, I, I believe. So because I put it here, yeah. Okay, not all, for fuck's sake. Oh Jesus. Um. Some good sounds. Um, is that an... No, I need, like, sticks there. Find repairables. Yeah, it's getting cold. Um, fuck it, I'll sleep. Okay, I'll, I'll wake up now just to replenish food and thrush real quick. Um... Not much in a can. Beats having to boil them. Yeah. Um. Prickly pear of the desert. Should get you bust if you know what you're doing. I don't. Is, 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 is that poisonous? I don't know. Now that they say that I can get poisoned and shit, I'm, I'm like really wary now. That's coffee. Um. I'll try it. Ooh, he tried it. Um, I could be able to cook that. Um, salt will be useful for that as well. Um, why would I want to spill that? Well, unless I want to put out a fire. I don't have anything to disassemble it. I need steak. Uh, what can I craft here then? I freaked out a little bit. So, uncooked mortar. Almost mortar. Need some plier. Oh, yeah. Alloy cream. So, alloy leaves and clay. Uh, alloy juice. Keep you hydrated just as well as regular water. I can just use water. That should be fine. Butcher dead fox. Butcher viscar. Um, so that I also need tools for that. So, uh, that would be bone knife. A cooking stick. One day down. I've survived a day. In the fuck fuck nowhere of some sort of desert. Um I'll I'll see what I can do. Okay. I should be able to get some more rest. And then after that I'll see what I can do. See until we can get some rest until about six, I'd say. Maybe even five. I'll go five. Wake up! It's still about night time, but... Closer today. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna drink. Then I should go and find some... Some more fucking... Drank. Uh, which one gives me more food? Sardines makes me... More thirsty, so... Fuck that. Um, I might be more at risk in the dark because, you know, wild animals and shit, they could possibly attack. See, this tells you how little I know this game, because I'm, I'm legit thinking about it. I mean, this was made by university students. They had, like, it was published by, you know, 
It's probably research. Oh, there's clean water there. That's good. So she can't really see much in dark. Um, Whoa! Oh, the good boy. You are a very good boy. Or girl. Who knows? Deconstruct the vis uh, viscasha like first parts. Traps. Should be able to put it okay. back together. Another pickaxe. I'll grab that and see what I can do with that. Grab some of this. So. They want me to deconstruct the Viscasha, which was the, uh, well, basically the dead animal I had, really. If I am not mistaken. Um, let me check back here again. If I, well, I didn't leave it there, did I? No, it's here. Viscasha, yeah. So, I would need tools for that. How do I make it? I have a sharp rock knife. Not very reliable, but a good place to start anyway. I guess I could use that. I feel like I could craft something better, though. Maybe not. That uh, requires leather straps and glue, which I don't have. Leather strips. Um, I mean, I could probably find it somewhere. Maybe not too far off, but I don't know. I can use plant fiber to make cloth. Nice. Okay. I'll do a rock knife. That's the best thing I've got so far. Then I gotta butcher that. That gives me actually raw meat, leather, and animal fat. So that's good. Great! Cook and eat the Viscasha using the campfire. Only problem, I need sticks. So, I mean, could I use Unreal Fine? I don't know. I really don't know. I know I could use cloth, so. Oh, I'm. Uh, there we go. I'm, I'm encumbered now. Um. I'll make some cloth. I'll leave it at that. Um, I use alcohol there then for that. Okay. Raw shish kebab. That's a tasty boy. Um, where to find sticks? I'm still uh, over in comfort. That's no good. Um, I'll transfer maybe like just just a bit of oil. What else could I leave? Um. It takes off like two fucking hell, okay. I guess that makes sense, but Jesus. That's a, that's a lot of weight for wood. Um Can I cook it here maybe? A water filter. Ah. Looks like someone left in a hurry. Or got or chased out. Got chased out. So if I do have dirty water I can just filter it through there. And I have clean water. That's good to know. So this, I mean, this seems like a pretty safe haven, um, so far. There we go. That's dirty water. Wow. I guess I'll use my hand. Give me some clay. Metal hook. Get closer to Bubba's plane in the distance. Look up. Bubba? It's gotta be. I need to get his attention. I don't know what the fuck or who the fuck Bob is. This requires rope and shit to repair. That's if I want to get down. We have some cloth. Papa. I guess that's. I don't know if I'm blind or if I'm just dumb. Are you talking about the birds? Or are they talking about something else? Because I don't see a plane in the distance. Look at that detail, though, with the fucking... The heat is distorting... You know, your vision there in the distance. It's hot. You can see the, the heat. So um, I should get back into shadow real quick, just so that I don't... Fucking dry myself out. Mummified. Cool. Um... Right. Sticks. I have a... a pickaxe. I thought I had an axe. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a dead boy. Got bones. Chest! 
Here we go. Makeshift hammer. And bolts. No, I just need to take back some shit here. Or put put some put some shit back. Um I don't think I would need a rock currently. Or fibers. Doesn't seem like there's a lot I can do with the metal cookie either. So I'm still over encumbered though, that's the thing. Um That's a lot of clay. Yeah, fuck it. Um Can I cut down a tree? Don't know. Wagon wheel. There's a lot of shit around here. There's also dirty water. Wow. Don't know what else I can do with that. Uh can I safely get down? There's shit down here. More wagon wheels. The wagon. Ah, oh, strong rope. Strong rope. Busted. If only I could reach those metal beams, I could try fixing it. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to go down. So that's something else that seems broke. That is broke. Um. You can utilize that there. And let me go back and grab the hook. Um, and I should be able to fix that. Ah, uh, my stamina's lost. I gotta get up, uh, get into shadow real quick, because also, you know, sun exposure is a bitch. So, there you go. Um, here we go. Take that. Um, we got seeds. Should keep the hunger pang to bay. I can squeeze some oil from it. Uh, I've also got bolts. Seem to be safe eating these, so I'll 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 chomp on a few of these, and I should be good to go. <laughs> Please. Uh, more small bases. I don't need more clay than I already have. Uh, yeah, let's get back down. There we go. And that is repaired. Shortcut. I can climb down here. Okay. Oh, this is a little, little spooky. Should I be careful or... Oh, I'm down. Uh, dirt pile. Yeah, don't I have a shovel? Yeah. Dirt and clay. All right. There was something. It's touching a cat because it just hurts the ever-loving craft out of you. Um. Okay. There was a That's structure. a mine shaft. If I repel down that way, oh. I should be able to find a way out. Repair the mine I'd entrance to the rather thing. find another way. You can craft or find items in the open world. Sun's burning me oh. up. Jesus Christ. Okay. Got sunburn. Let me get into the shadows real quick. So there's a mine <laughs> shaft. Mm, I should be able to. Do something to be able to get down there. It's a sack. Not much. Water filter. Share. Uh, zero. Nothing there. Got a plank there. And uh, there seems to be a mine shaft over there. Oh, let's see what's over there. Yeah, even at a railway track. Okay. Um. Lantern. Get some oil. Uh, that's cock blocked. Sadly. Uh, seemingly nothing in there. I should drink. And, uh. Even eat. Oh, 
how does one get sticks? BRB. Yeah, hello. Yeah, give me this number. Hi. I'm back. Just got a phone call. Um, yeah. Right. So, repair the mine entrance. Send down. Uh, another important thing to me right now is just trying to get some food. I have the, uh, I have the raw meat. I have the campfire up there. Um, only problem is I don't have sticks. Aka, I, I can't really cook. I have planks and shit. No sticks. And my question is, I might be really stupid asking this, but how do I how do I acquire sticks in this guide? Um, it's a problem. Yeah, that's a good place for shadow. Really good place, actually. Um. Okay. Here's another dirt pile. Dig it. And dirty water, actually. Now, now my canteen has dirty water. Um. So I'll have to go back and filter that. And after that, I should have some uh, clean boys, clean water. Or mind shifting. Makeshift hammer. I already have these, but I know I can go back here if I need, need some more. And that goes into the open wild, wild west. Um. Oh, there's a special rock. Um. A little hut in the distance. I assume it's midday. I don't really have a clock, seemingly. No. The fuck is that? Oxalis. Flower. Clean water. My canteen is already full with dirty boys. So I'm gonna have to go back and filter that. Stick! Yes! Finally! Some good fucking stick! <laughs> That's what I need. So you find sticks in the wild? Or from other shit, presumably, but... Sticks in the wild are a thing. Also, shadow. Real fucking fast. Another stick. But also shadow. Gotta get cool. Before I drop. Yeah. Shit, there's not a lot of shadow. Shaft. Actually, I mind shaft, yeah. Oh! Oh, we have another fucking thing. It's a book. Shaman's Journal, 3 out of 3. The man from Loressa has confirmed my suspicions. The... The Amacordas have killed and killed, but have no way to survive. In time, they will die out in this place. It is a shame that I wasn't ready sooner. Perhaps I could have saved them. At least, I can save this man. Take him to the caves. Do one good deed before I finish my shaman's journey. One good deed... ...before I die. These are all really depressing stories, what the hell, man? <laughs> and, last seemingly a bed, but I have to repair that. Finally, fucking... I just need rocks, which I know I have at home. Quote home. Actually, I need, I should probably stay in the shadows a bit longer. Um, what can I do in the meantime? It doesn't pause when I go into the inventory, so that's good. Um, anything here to bring my energy up? Coffee. That's right. I'm feeling doozy. <laughs> Unlimited <laughs> stamina. Wow. Bitch, I'm running. Question is, do I even know where to go? I don't even motherfucking know. Um. Now I have. Ooh. 
shit, shoe now, hard and chewy. Not much taste, but it will do. So that's another piece of food. Over encumbered. That's a fucking sham, but... Oh well. Up there. I don't know. Hold on, let me, uh... I've got letters, that's good. Probably keep that at home. That is, sh that is food. What the fuck is Shuno? It doesn't look good. It doesn't look like it would taste good either. But I mean, I mean, you can survive on anything in in the fucking wild if you can. If you if you have to, you can. Uh, I'll drop some oil. Just so I'm not absolutely over encumbered. Um, what else can I safely drop? I won't do me harm. Uh, I have enough bone at home, so I'll drop two. And I can use energy, so I'll watch out, that. world! Here I come. So, so over enthusiastic. Is it believable? Yeah, probably. I've, I've, I've never had coffee in my life. Can I just say? So I, I don't know what fucking. I wouldn't know what Hyatt gives. Well, I, I do know what Hyatt gives, fucking, but I haven't experienced it personally, so I wouldn't know how I would react to it. I didn't even notice this sound. Oh, good reason I didn't fucking go to it either. It's empty. Maybe I did notice the shack and I was just fucking dummy dumb. I can't remember. Uh, looking at OBS, the footage might seem a little shoppy, so I apologize for that. That's probably because I'm playing on borderless window possibly it's running fine here so I'll, I'll see what I can do about that next time I record um, but I'm gonna need to get up here real quick there we go uh, try the fucking water filter here we go filtering water how long does that take I guess it's filling up. Stay in the shadows. And in the meantime, I'll also get some clean water. Now that's empty. Uh, finally! Fucking cook! Jesus. Add these boys. And then, um... Uh, some fuel. I'll do these. Light. Yo, we cooking in this bitch! Finally, some good fucking food. <laughs> ah, it's about eight seconds on it. Okay. This is hella nice of a game. Hella nice game. And take that out. And put this in. I can roll some nuts. Don't know how, how that's going to improve the nuts, apart from making them less awful taste. Not that nuts taste awful, but, I mean, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just happy I finally have some food. Oh. Okay, so when it comes to fuel, is that 10 minute per, like, you know, is that, is that one minute times... 10 there, or is that just 10 minutes for each? In fact. That's my curiosity. Don't know. But finally I have some food. Which is great. You know, something better than that. Toasted seeds. Oh, I, yeah, I just basically... Yeah, I just toasted them. <laughs> um, that's good. So I have some more food there. Um, this one's... Yeah, that's right. Should fill me up for a while. Um, so could I add salt onto these? Or am I just... I don't know. Seasoned raw meat. Ah, 
shooey as all uh, get out, but better than nothing. Needs fire. So that's why you Shuno and salt for that. Um, and I can then use that on a cooking stick and an arample fruit, and I have a raw shish kebab. Probably the most delicious food I can get my hands on in such a place, if cooked. Right, yeah, that's also another thing. It, it has to be cooked. I guess I can also cook the seasoned meat. I should have made that. Should have made that and then cooked that. You'd have a fucking, you'd have a fucking dinner. Which in this place would be a fucking luxury, I can imagine. Um. Yeah, I, th I think that's where I'm gonna end it for this first episode of Arid. This is really cool, actually. Um, again, made by students, so fucking kudos to them, because this is actually really good. And, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can uh, repair the mine entrance, and see if we can go into, you know, the, the awful, stenchy, uh, humid desert mines. Yeah, uh, this was a little different. Uh, I quite like it, though. I quite like it. I like doing solo stuff. I, I really want to do some some more solo stuff um, on the channel, which I've, I mean, I've kind of done that with the Five Night Funkin' shit, but that's more like, you know, that's kind of just like no commentary, just all that, but this is, this is with commentary, this is just less place, um, so this is cool, and this seems like a really cool game to do it for, so, uh, yeah, I mean, thank you for uh, watching, and I will see you all soon, hopefully Wednesday or Friday, or maybe even both, peace.